Good morning, family. I hope you all have been staying safe and cool. It has been so hot here. We are on average about 109 every day for about two weeks now. So next week we're supposed to be in the high 90s, which I guess gives us a little bit of a break. But uh, it's not easy getting things done out here. As you can see, I've got umbrellas up in back of me. I've got the shade cloth up over there. I mean, trying to keep the garden alive in all of this heat is really hard. It's a lot of work, you guys. So today I am building a privacy screen. I have um, some places in my yard where just straight view to my neighbors and also to give them some privacy also because some of these go straight to windows that they have. So um, I cut back a few uh, the hedges on the side over here and I'm um, gonna build a privacy screen to you know help both of us out. It's gonna give me some privacy and it's gonna give them some privacy. So uh, hold on, we're gonna get started. This is the area that I'm gonna build the privacy screen for. I cut back the hedges a little here and I uh, already had a space, you know, a gap here, but now I'm going to be covering it so that it give me some privacy when I sit out here and also them too. You know, I don't know what the window leads to, but they shouldn't have to look directly out into my patio. So what I've already started doing is I have two, two by fours by eight. I had them cut down to seven feet so that I could get it in my little SUV to get it home. But I still think I'm gonna cut off another foot and just make it six feet tall. And then I have one by fours. As you can see, I've already started staining all of these, all of this wood. And I had these cut in half because that gives me four feet, which is what I need over there. But I'm actually thinking that I don't have enough. So I may end up going back to get some more. But right now I need to stain the other side. So I'm going to water the vegetable garden really quick. And then I'm gonna get busy on this side. You guys wanna know how hot it is? Do you guys see this? This is just from being out here watering the garden. It's not even nine o'clock yet <laughs> and I am drenched. So yeah, I'm gonna go over here, put these coats on uh, these two by fours and then I'm gonna go in and eat breakfast.
Good morning, guys. I am continuing with building a privacy screen. I am in no way a professional. I'm doing this, I am using pencils as my spacers. I use stain that I already had left over. Nails that I already have. And a whole lot of sweat equity. Because I learned a long time ago that when you need something done, something is better than nothing. So I need a privacy screen, so I am making my own. I can do this, trust me, anybody can do this. I don't really have power tools anymore. Just about everything I do is done by hand. All right, guys, so it's taking me a lot longer than I planned to do this project. I don't know about you guys, but here in Southern California, everybody and their mama is redoing their house or doing some kind of home improvement project. So getting wood right now is not an easy thing. So I just had to go to three different cities, Home Depot and two different Lowe's to find this wood so that I could finish. So I gotta stain these, so it's gonna take me a little bit longer. And then I'll get back to this project. Now one other step that I did skip that I'll probably um, may have to go back later and do this is when attaching these panels, um, you really should put wood glue under there. And I didn't. So if you're gonna build a panel, make sure that you do. It helps uh, secure the wood a little longer, especially since I'm using nails on this part and not screws. But uh, I'm tired, it's 95 degrees already. <laughs> and I gotta get to staining.
<laughs> you know, I swear there's an oops in just about every project that I do. So in this project, I missed the back of two of the slats. So I'm gonna stain that right now. I left this opening here because I have to put the brackets on. They're like C brackets that are gonna go around the top railing on the chain link fence. So I'm gonna put these on and to keep from having to go in my neighbor's yard, I'm gonna leave that open so that I can just reach through, attach it around the fence, and then I'll add the last two slats after that's done. But so far so good. So I forgot that I switched out my hardware. So I need to remark the holes that I'm gonna drill. I'm just gonna drill pilot holes so that once I go to attach this, it will actually go in a lot smoother. Don't want to go all the way through to the other side. All right, guys, the privacy panel is done. I did need my husband to help me put it in place. I needed a second pair of hands. However, he doesn't like being on camera, so sorry, don't have the footage of that. But as you can see, no more wide open space. So the next part is to tackle covering the gate. But this part is done, and I want to thank you guys for joining me, and hopefully you'll tune in for the next video. Have a blessed one, guys.